Hello, welcome to this screencast on how to set up and create your Chalk and Wire ePortfolio. First, if you ever need directions, you may visit http colon double backslash bit.ly backslash capital C capital W directions to download up-to-date instructions. Start by visiting chalkandwire.com backslash ndm. Portfolio is web-based and runs through any browser. When typing the URL, never leave off the .ndm or you will visit the company site. If you are a new user, then click Register under Are You a New User? You must enter the information requested in the text fields. Leave the student employee number empty. If you do not have an access code, please contact Madeline Ball at mball at ndm.edu for the process and the payment information. Once you enter the information, record your username and password in a safe place. After that, you can click to go back to the login screen. You'll never have to do this process again. Go ahead and log in with your credentials you will have to agree to the user agreement. Once that is completed, you will appear on the dashboard. The dashboard is the communication hub between you and the system. Go to the left of the screen and select Menu. It is the three horizontal lines right here. Everyone in the School of Education must create two portfolios. Let's start with the one everyone in the School of Education must create. Go to the menu, select Work and My Coursework. Click on the Create New Portfolio. You will see a pop-up window that asks for your name, asks you to select a department, just leave it unassigned. It also asks you to uh, select a table of contents. You will pick the one that says NDMU SOE General Coursework. Once that is selected, click Create. In the background, the portfolio will be created. For the interface of the portfolio, on the left side is the table of contents organized in a course-based hierarchy. Under each title um, and course ranges are the course titles. Then underneath each course title are the assignments or assessments associated with the course. Now let's pretend I have completed an assignment under EDU 556. So I'm scrolling down to EDU 556. This assignment is called Online Discussion. I'm going to click the actual assignment's name, Online Discussion. A screen will scroll from the side, as it did, in order to accept the documents into the portfolio. Please observe the, set, uh, the submit sign and how it is scratched out at the moment. We will get to this in a second. To add content, select Add Content. You can input the content into a text box. You can add a file. There are some other choices, but the SOE doesn't use these features. For this task, I will upload a file. I can find the file on my hard drive or hand it in from Dropbox or Google Drive. So I'm going to click Add File. I'm going to go ahead and select and choose the file that I'll upload. Let's just go ahead and pretend that I've selected an assignment that is the online discussion. You click open and then you click insert file. You'll see that the file has now entered into the ePortfolio here. You'll also notice now that the submit button is green and active. This is like a gateway. If the submit button was grayed out and scratched out still, you wouldn't be able to submit it. 
but now that it has a document, you're able to submit it. When the button is now green, you may hit the Submit button. Now, a quick warning. For first-time users, the SOE collects demographic survey data for our reporting. Uh, it's not present on the screen at the moment because I am not a student. Once you complete the survey, you'll select the button Save and Close. This survey will only be required once and will take you to this next screen right here. Click on the name and enter the name of the person you're going to submit this to. Click the name, submit, and you should see a successful submission screen. Content has been submitted. When you're done, you can hit the close button and it will take you back to your main ePortfolio. Just a warning, once you submit your work to your instructor, you cannot recall it. So please make sure to submit only finished products for your uh, instructor to grade. If you ever want to go back to the main table of contents of the portfolio, you can click the book icon to go out to the main view. And as you can see, here are all the courses and all the assignments underneath each course. If you ever want to see the rubrics the assignments are assessed by, you can click this little tab right here. How will I be assessed? It will open up a shadow table of contents with little numbers. If you use the little pivot tables like here, you'll be able to see the uh, rubric that uh, the assignment is linked to. Click on the menu. That is the section on the left that has the three horizontal bars. Click on work and go back to my coursework. At this point, you should see the portfolio that you created just a moment ago that you just exited out of. To get into them, all you have to do is click on the edit button to enter it again. Now we are going to create a second portfolio. So that process is you click on new portfolio, you enter your name again. Remember, leave department unassigned. You can't see it on my screen because I'm an administrator. And where it says table of contents, you'll either select the one that is NDMU SOE internships and methods courses, or the one that says NDMU SOE practicum courses. I'm going to pretend that I am creating the internships and methods course one. You simply click it and hit create, and it'll do the same exact thing as it did before, and that is create a portfolio. The structure is much the same. On the left hand side, there's the table of contents. On the right hand side, there is the button in which if I want to see the rubrics, I can. And instead of being course based, this is really content based, um, a content based hierarchy. If you ever want to review any submitted or assessed assignments, go to Menu, select Reporting, and click on My Results. This screen will provide you with the assignments, the people that have assessed it, uh, your grade, as in a rubric, and even gives percentages of the grade. Your portfolio will last you for five years. If you forget a password or need assistance, please contact Madeline Ball at the following email address. Thank you and good luck.